Hello everyone. I wanted to quickly go over how to embed Desmos into Edgegents. And so right now I have an assessment that's already open um, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit this assessment. So um, before I work on my Edgegents, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the uh, Desmos calculator. So I'm gonna open up Desmos and I'm gonna use a star mode, star version. So I'm gonna just Google Desmos star Texas. It's usually the first one that pops up here and you'll see star version on the top left. So I'm gonna copy that URL. Then I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna go to the iframe generator, iframe-generator.com. I'm gonna paste that URL and generate a code in iframe here that I can paste. And so you can change any of these settings here. If you wanna preview it, you can do that to see what it will look like. All right, so that looks good. So I'm gonna copy it and then go into Edgegents. And so um, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna put it in the directions. That way um, it appears at the top of every of every assessment, I mean, of every question. And so the first thing I do here is click on source. You can see how all of that turns gray. I'm gonna paste that iframe there. Click source one more time. It'll show up kind of as a, just kind of a box here that you can't really see anything, but in order to see it, you go to preview and it'll be right here at the top of my uh, settings. And so I'm actually gonna go back I want it to take up 100% of the width of my screen. So I'm gonna go to find where it says width here and then change it from 600px to 100%. And then probably would wanna make my height to about 500. So you can play with those settings there. Um, click source and then I'm gonna go to preview again see what that looks like. So you can see it takes 100% of the width of that screen here, and then 500. Um, one of the things we did actually create is um, some code already that kind of gives you some neat options here. So and I'll share this code um, in the description below, um, but I pasted that there. And, and so it actually gives us a, a nice little menu bar here so i'm going to preview that to see what that looks like so it gives us a drop down so it doesn't take a lot of that screen so again i'll add this code here it just makes it easier for students so they don't have to scroll up and down if they don't need a calculator and that's it